guys, uh, this is Josh Black here, and what I'm going to be talking to you guys about is my LastPass review. Um, this is a 2019 review about LastPass. So LastPass is an affordable, easy to use, and secure. Uh, so LastPass is one of the best password managers you can choose. It's easy to set up and secure and flexible. If you're fed up trying to remember all your own passwords, making the move to LastPass is a serious smart choice. So the pros of smart of of uh, LastPass is it makes your passwords available where you want them in your browser. It detects when you're using the same password on multiple sites. It's available on all major browsers and on multiple sites. And LastPass is one of the best ma uh, password managers you can choose. It's easy to set up and secure and flexible. This popular password manager can create passwords for you and store them securely, auto-filling them when needed. So LastPass can take the hassle out of remembering multiple online passwords. LastPass will let you use the service over multiple devices. So it works on Windows, Macs, and Linux PCs via simple browser add-on extensions and for tablets and smartphones there's a simple LastPass app. So you can set yourself up with LastPass and you can say goodbye to your worst habits many users and many people fall into um, when coming up with logins from multiple sites. Instead you can enjoy proper security when logging into sites and services. So what is LastPass? Uh, left to their own devices, most people are terrible at creating passwords. After all, it's a pain to remember five different passwords, let alone 10 or 20. So all too often, users pick one password, then reuse it over and over, and that's highly risky. If that login data for even one of your accounts is ever stolen, then the hackers have the key to all the others that share that password. And also most people don't even have one password, they have multiple passwords and they can't remember any of them. So on top of this, too many uh, people rely on classic but easily guessable passwords such as 123456, password, query, and various of the pets names um, or the names of family members. So LastPass can alleviate all this risk and make it easier to manage all your various online accounts. It can auto-generate secure passwords, a unique, unguessable one for each of your online accounts, then auto-fill those securely as you log in. All you need to remember is one master password for your LastPass account. Just make sure it's both secure and memorable. So, um, the LastPass vault. The core of LastPass is the vault. When, uh, where, this is where your passwords are stored without your master password. Your vault is encrypted. So it's just a bunch of garbled data that won't make sense uh, to anyone, even if hacked. It, to unlock the vault with that password, however, and your data is readable. Passwords and account usernames are stored in the vault along with the web address URL used for logging into each account. If you land on a site with one of your stored logins, LastPass will either automatically fill in your login credentials or make them available upon request. So you can organize your login credentials into different folders such as work, home, and so on. LastPass also lets you add any notes if you need to. Under advanced settings, you can adjust features such as automatically filling out login forms or requiring you to, to re-enter the master pa password to, for access to particularly sensitive logins, which is a really cool feature. The password reprompts is particularly useful if you share a PC with others that way, no one can log into key accounts such as bank or email without knowing the master password, even if you're already logged into LastPass on your shared computer. So extra storage options, the vault doesn't hold passwords. It can, the vault doesn't only hold passwords. Uh, it can also hold notes with information you may want to keep private. Um, and you can use this 
to store product licenses for passwords, for example, or backup codes for two-factor um, authentication logins. So LastPass uh, browser extension, in everyday use LastPass browser extension does several things. It makes your logins available to you when you need them. It saves new logins as you create them. It generates new passwords when necessary. And it can also tell you when you're using the same password with multiple accounts and offers to change them. So another way to use LastPass is to remember your payment details so it can fill out your credit card form automatically. And also LastPass password generator. There's also an automated password changing tool. Uh, this can easily change your password used on major websites. Uh, to use it, simply look in your vaults and open a specific login such as Google or Facebook. Then under the save password, you'll see a link titled order change password. Click this and the last pass will help you create and register a new password for that site with minimal fuss. So emergency access, of course, putting all your password eggs in one basket, no matter how secure you can fill. Uh, so no matter how, yeah, it can feel daunting. Uh, so to keep your mind at ease, LastPass help has a helpful feature called emergency access. Uh, so this allows nominated trusted people to get access to your account if needed. Uh, this is a great feature if you should become incapacitated or if you've forgotten your master password to set up emergency access. Go to your vault and select emergency access from the left hand column to give someone access to the vault into their email address and specify a wait time after they've requested access to your vault. LastPass offers a number of wait times then from immediately to 30 days. The idea with the wait time is it gives you uh, it gives you time to reject their access request if you need to. The default 48 hours. Default is 48 hours. So um, where you can get this extension um, on you know m m all the main browsers uh, for like Chrome, you could just get the Chrome extension and just type in LastPass. For iPhone, there's an uh, iTunes Apple Store. That's where you buy the app. Uh, actually, the app is free, um, which is great. This is a free app. Um, Android as well. You get this app for free on the Google Play Store. So um, that's the topic that I want to talk about, which was LastPass. And I think it's super helpful for anyone um, that can't remember their passwords or needs um, just one password for everything, but have multiple passwords because sites are always changing their passwords. And for most people, it's pretty hard to even remember their passwords. So that's great. Um, so like this video uh, for the YouTube algorithm um, and comment um, it will help the algorithm and also subscribe. Um, and uh, thank you for watching.